somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at a movie that was a poll winner from all of you on Patreon and the YouTube memberships. It's Cabin in the Woods from 2011. Now, I know nothing about this. This is a first time watch. All I know is that it has Chris Hemsworth in it. I don't know if it's supposed to be horror or comedy or action or whatever so who knows what i'm getting into let's find out well i obviously do not know what this is either this is a first time watch for me so i'm ready willing and able to find out what is going on in that cabin in the woods <laughs> i mean how scary I mean, the title cabin in the woods sounds scary but it's chris hemsworth how scary can it be i guess we'll find out you'd be scared of his rugged good luck so let's go It's official. I've discovered the ultimate in softness when it comes to t-shirts. It's almost unbelievably too soft. And that's at Marine Layer, a San Francisco based brand. Marine Layer stands out as the go-to choice for impeccable fitting, fashionable wardrobe essentials. This is the perfect balance between effortless style and a luxurious feel. One of the remarkable qualities I admire about Marine Layer is their ability to maintain the softness of their t-shirts, regardless of how many times you wash them. For a limited time, you can enjoy an exclusive 15% discount using the code BADMEDICINE15. That's bad with two Ds, medicine one five. They've unleashed Marge sizes, a mystical realm betwixt medium and large, where every seeker can unearth their ideal fit, like a treasure hunt for the perfect tee. And it goes way beyond t-shirts too. They've got super laid back overshirts, pants, jackets, beanies, and all the cozy layers you want for the cooler season ahead. And when you want to get rid of your old tees, they'll literally pay you for them with their tee respawn program. Super soft, super sustainable. I think we can all admit that the perfect tee is hard to find. Look no further than Marine Layer. And right now for a limited time, get 15% off with the code BADMEDICINE15 at marinelayer.com. That's code BADMEDICINE15. That's right, bad with two Ds for 15% off your entire order at marinelayer.com. Save your closet one t-shirt at a time. All right, right, this looks probably, like human sacrifice. It's hormonal. I mean, I don't usually fall back. Oh, hey! hey. <laughs> Look at these two. Gates and stuff. Couple of Dude, legends. She did the yeah. drawers. She screwed in these little jobbies where he can't even open the drawers. It'll be 30 before he can reach and <laughs> assuming, you know, child we have proof it. Things. Guys, guys. Stockholm went south. That means there's just Japan. Japan and us. Well, it's not the first time it's come down to that. Japan has a perfect record. So we're number two. We try harder. <laughs> What's going on? Is this the end of the world or something? You guys better not be messing around in there. It's a key scenario. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. It's going to be a long weekend if everyone's that puckered up. Every time I see him, I just think Revenge of the Nerds 2 and Billy Madison. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Are you even listening to me? <laughs> Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, I didn't know what was going on. I thought by the title this was going to be like a horror, oh, is, like a horror movie. Yeah. Oh, the name. It's be a comedy. You know your windows are open, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesse Williams. An artist. Ah, is she having a little crush on someone? Oh, Professor Watt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, your hair, it's blonde. Very fabulous. Kurt's gonna lose it. Oh, Kurt's gonna thank me. So will you, while we are burning this picture. Oh no. Seriously, this isn't his fault. King his student or breaking up with her by email. I knew what I was getting into. Huh? Oh, please. Oh, okay. And if Holden's as cute as Kurt says he is. If you guys treat this like a setup, I'm gonna have no fun at all. But we're packing this. We won't have room for... Oh, what if I get bored? <laughs> Books. Soviet economic structures? <laughs> Aftermath of the Cold Real, real tearjerkers. Hey! hey, 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 hey this football. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's Jesse Williams. <laughs> he just transferred from state. Best hands on the team. What is this? <laughs> what are these? What are you doing with these? <laughs> Look, he's blaming... <laughs> You think his accent's gonna slip up in here at all? Gorofsky, now this is way more interesting. 
No jewels this weekend. It's not an evacuation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> is that the professor? People in this town drive in a very counterintuitive manner. Do you want to spend the weekend in jail? <laughs> Cops will never pull over a man with a huge bong. They know he sees farther than they. <laughs> the windows are open. <laughs> the windows are open. Have you gone gray? <laughs> You're not bringing that thing, the rambler. A giant bong in your father's van? Dana! Fetching minx. <laughs> Do you have any food? Yeah? yeah? Not sure what he's going to see out of the rearview mirror, but... <laughs> I bet you guys are happy he's got the dirt bike on the back. Well, let's see what oh, he does. We're ready for an adventure. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy. Hey, creepy. Oh, that's the professor she was drawing, it looks like. It doesn't even show up on the GPS. It is unworthy of global position. Get off the grid, right? <laughs> no cell phone reception. Everything's filed or recorded or blogged. Society needs to crumble. It's the guy you don't bring to parties. Identification, please. Mr. Citizen. What are these guys a part of? I'm sure we'll find out. Mr. Head. Acquiring targets. Let's see what we got. A little bit of yard cleanup, you'll be fine. Uh, that's not sketchy at all. I'm thinking this thing doesn't take credit cards. Those grappling hooks? I don't think so. <laughs> look like. I think there's some sort of fishing oh, or they're, hunting they're trap. Yeah, there's some furs hanging up there. <laughs> I think grappling hooks. Looked like it. They weren't angled over. That's true. I don't think there's going to be any gas. You come here running, Biden. Sign says closed. If we were looking to buy some gas. We also wanted to get directions. Tillerman Road. Do you know if it's this way? So tell the creepy old oh, guy what right direction you're going. You're headed. Takes you up the hill there. Dead ends at the old bucket place. Always someone looking to sell that plop. <laughs> it's a classic old guy that knows yep. the whole Just story. Boy. You were rude to my friend. At Oh! What'd you say? I think we got enough gas. Getting back. That's your concern. His eye is awfully uh, bloodshot there. Seems a little too obvious this early on that they would give us the identity of the person who's going to do bad things, you know? Mm, yeah, well, I don't think it's him. He's just the grumpy old guy that knows the story. Stay away from there. Like you know, the, the old lady he, in the Friday the 13th yeah. said stay away from Jason Voorhees. He just our, wants to be left alone. Yeah, because our guys were zooming in on something on the map in the facility. Oh! Ooh. Hunger Games stuff going on here? Okay, that was weird. Now we got the guys monitoring stuff. Now... Mm what oh, the, i gotta feel really this is gonna his, be a lot of fun was it really his cousin then this must be it yeah do, do we want to pull up all the way next to us now nah, we're good here one spider and i'm sleeping in the rambler it's an interesting camera shot yeah it leads you to believe that that's a first person point of view mm -hmm. okay that looks way bigger on the inside than. yeah <laughs> oh this is awesome I was not informed Huh. Oh, it's kind of similar to what we saw in the opening credits. Uh, What's behind it? Uh, Whoa. Oh, it's a mirror. I thought she was like in a hallway. Yeah, I thought she was in the. Oh, creepy. Yeah, it's a one way uh, mirror, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, oh, um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe put the picture uh, up unless you want to get busted. You can later. you can uh, turn the painting the other way and hold up. You've got to be f***ing kidding me. Make sure this is the only one. So you know Marty wants to watch his pounding away. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even like hearing. <laughs> How about we switch? I mean, I put the picture back, but you might feel better if we switched rooms. What a gentleman. Now she's got to put the creepy picture back up. 
Oh, the old well, Jules is pre The old she arm on the wall. Talk to her. Now, is she going to look? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I just happened to be uh, cutting see, this week. He's, <laughs> he's like, I know there's a, she can see right through, so I'm going to make sure I get right in front of it and change. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, she's, now she's yeah. having the internal debate. Yeah, she didn't yeah. want to look at that. Either. No. Wow. But now well, are see, those two guys. washing them? Yep, it looks like. So is this, is this the cabin whole cabin some then. sort of social experiment? Got to be. Hulk is now in two, McFray is in four. We're recommending a 50 milligram bump of rohyptase to increase libido. The hair dye. Dumb blonde. Very artistic. Oh, These guys are so, behind all of this. So as she got her hair dyed, it did that. Yeah. Wow. To be honest, she's kind of freaking me out. Okay. Put them on. The lambs have passed oh, through the gate. Oh, this guy. They are come to the killing floor. By the numbers, man, you got to start it off just right. Their blind eyes see nothing of the horrors to come. Well, that's how it works. Cleanse the world of their ignorance and sin. The ancient ones see everything, and they will not be... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. It did it again. Morty? Morty. <laughs> <laughs> This is so weird. Hey, what is that? What? In the lake, right there. God, it looks just like my girlfriend. What? Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. All right, oh. last chance. It's post time. Well, let's see. We got uh, engineering, we got R&D, and we got electrical. I'm not even sure we have one of these. Zoology as far as we do. They'd know. Zoology. Hmm. How are you writing so much stuff down already? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Not betting? Not for me. Thanks. This job isn't easy. Whatever those clowns may behave. Do they know about this downstairs? The director doesn't care about this stuff. As long as the kids do as they're told, then it's fixed. They have to make the choice of their own free will. Otherwise, the system doesn't work. God, this seems ultra screwed mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're getting into here. Oh, let's get this party started! Get this party started! <laughs> uh, look, I'm just going to say this right now. They always try to do this in movies, make it look like it's a big party. There's five people there. Yeah, like, like uh, how big of a party are you? Are we really it? putting up? Well, the yeah, music yeah, 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 look at it. Truth or dare? Let's go dare. Make out with <laughs> that moose. <over> there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Have you ever seen a moose before? Whatever that mysterious beast is. That's, a That's clearly wolf. a wolf. I dare you to make out with that wolf. Uh, interesting choice of shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> making out. Well, yeah. Okay, she's really going to be seductive towards the wolf, huh? Yeah, she's yeah, putting the work in. That's what I'm saying. Me? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no need to have him pop. I'll let you come in. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Hey! You don't, you don't know where that's been. <laughs> okay. God, this is making me feel really uncomfortable. That is like really in the most weird. awkward way possible. <laughs> oh yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't. Know. I don't know if I would cheer that if I was the boyfriend. <laughs> I feel so weird. It's Dana, odd. truth. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just skipping ahead, and then you'll puss out and say that you wanted truth. There. <laughs> Whoa. How was that? The cellar door. Oh, uh, their way to get them down into yep, the cellar. Into the cellar. Dana. <laughs> I dare you. Can we at least maybe throw a flashlight down there? Just give it a quick peek <laughs> yeah. first. I'm pretty sure in 2000, what year did this come out? 11? Yeah, 11. My uh, phone had a flashlight. <laughs> How long do I have to stay oh, down here? She's got a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. And saw blades. Not a very good flashlight either. No, piano. Dollhouses are never a creepy sign, are they? Uh, always. All right, now I'm trying to <laughs> myself. Oh, here Not we go. Not creepy at all. I turned sideways if you haven't seen me before when I'm trying to. Oh, prepare for family. Me. Jump scare. Are you our mommy? Like you just hear something like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm with you, Aunt Sir. That flashlight is rubbish. Yeah. yeah. Will you call for help? What's it there? Take your top off. Ah, uh, guys. 
not sure it's awesome to be down there. <laughs> it's awesome to be <gasps> oh, oh, is he going to be big? Your cousin is into some weird It's like a little shrine or something. Maybe it's the people who put in that mirror thing. Some of this stuff looks really old. Oops. <laughs> Let's ask the magic conch if we should go back upstairs. Yeah. I dare you all to go upstairs. <laughs> okay, that's ah, music oh. boxes are never no. involved in horror stories yeah. at all. Oh, he sees <laughs> all the he sees all the film. Let's take every creepy, creepy piece thing of everything of. from every horror movie and just throw it in this basement. Mm -hmm. Those, whatever that is, music boxes, creepy old oh, pictures. A dusty, a dusty diary. Necronomicon. Of old Voltar <laughs> machine from Big. Nice. Father was cross with me and said I lacked the true faith. Mama screamed most of the night, stopped when Papa cut her belly and stuffed the coals in. Matthew took him to the black room, so I know he is killed. Jesus, can we not? I'm going. Why? I want to know. <laughs> that a believer will come and speak this to our spirits. Then we will be restored and the great pain will return. It doesn't even mean anything. Dana! The Lord. Uh, oh, and she can perfectly speak it? Yeah. Igneo. Animus. Klaatu Veratai Natu. Oh my god. Something clawing its way out. There's a handful of walkers. Yeah. We have a winner. It's the Buckners, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Go to maintenance. That's not fair. I had zombies too. But this is zombie redneck torture family. Entirely separate species. Zombie redneck torture family? <laughs> Everything in our stable is remnant of the old world. Monsters? Magic? Gods? Oh man, I'm sorry. He had the conch in his hands. I, I am never going to see a merman. <laughs> Ever. Two would be thankful. The cleanup on him is a nightmare. They may be zombified, pain-worshipping, backwoods idiots. So they bring people here. They run them through this with different monsters, but why? We need the Japanese crew to get it done. There's too much writing on it. So they're doing it in a school? I hope I don't have this dumb, confused look on my face the whole reaction. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. So classy. <laughs> I like you wouldn't want a piece of that. Are you feeling lonely, Marty? Marty and I were sweeties in our freshman hall. I never did buy that ring. <laughs> but we're still close. Mush, mush. Don't push me around. Around <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a straight <laughs> line. <laughs> you seriously believe nothing weird is going on? When does Kurt pull this alpha male bullshit? Kurt's just drunk. It's a good point. I've seen Kurt drunk. You're not seeing what you don't want to see. I'm sorry about tonight. Do I lose points if I tell you I'm having a pretty nice time? You can tell me that. <laughs> okay, okay, so I've seen those... enough to know. <laughs> Running that through this the woods. Is this through. isn't good. Uh, what is the rule in uh, Scream? Never engage in mm -hmm. party time? Yep. Not here. Oh, baby, come on. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's it. Your basic human needs disgust me. Get out of here. <laughs> Engaging pheromone mists. Turned up the temperature. Engage pheromone mists. So now she's not chilly. Mm -hmm. Well, she's also. <laughs> well, yeah. They also did something else. Inside. Come on, this is why we came here. What are they doing? They're increasing the moonlight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, baby, let's see some boobies. <laughs> oh we We're not the only ones watching, Ken. Gotta keep the customer satisfied. Cost oh, that's interesting. So a creepy what? zombie's gonna come out or these guys. <laughs> right? Oh! No! Uh, no! 
Oh, we got a bear trap. Bear on her. trap. On. Oh, ah. we can't hear him screaming inside. Oh. oh, this we offer in humility and fear for the blessed peace of your eternal slumber. Was that a pentagram on his necklace? Mm. Like, do they have to do it to appease a demon or the devil or something? What is this? Blood. It is. They must have to appease some thing. Okay, I swear to fucking God somebody is talking. No! <gasps> what are you saying? I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> You're the boss, huh? Oh. He's got a husband bulge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's that? Something right behind him. Uh, here it comes. Oh, oh. Run. There's okay, Jules. Kurt, you're okay. Where's Jules? She's out of the picture. Don't open I'm it. not leaving here without Jules. Jules. Oh. come on! I saw a young girl, all zombied like him, but she was missing an arm. Oh my god. Like in the story. We gotta play it safe. No matter what happens, we have to stay together. <laughs> this isn't right. We should split up. We can cover more ground that way. Oh. I got it. You guys get in your rooms. Lock them in. Oh, hey, oh did you yeah. find a camera? Yep. Camera or a microphone. That's not good. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Judah Buckner to the rescue. What the? Uh-oh. Right by the window. I want a reality TV show. Oh. <laughs> oh. That is bong. Bong. <laughs> bong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's only gonna do so much, though. Oh, oh got him! Oh, no. No. Oh. oh, so nice it looks one. like they have to take him to certain spots yeah, for the to blood, get the though. Blood. Must be getting excited downstairs. What the hell? The whole building's yeah. shaking. Yeah. They must have something in that building that they have to give blood to to keep it happy. Come on! The mirror. It's empty. That's not good. This is the black room. What? This is where he killed them. He's not gonna kill us. We just gotta find a door. This movie's pretty wild, guys. I gotta yeah. be honest. Like, I'm really into this. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's gotta be something. Oh! Oh, oh another the bear trap. Bear trap. Oh. oh. You like me? Oh! You gotta keep going until old boy's head oh. is gone. I bet. That's right. <laughs> They got him. What are the odds this thing actually starts? Well. Oh, they figured out how to beat the spirit in Japan. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they figured out how to beat it. <laughs> Record, huh? Japan crew should have had this in the bag. They fed us. I'm telling you, if you want good product, you gotta buy American. What? Why? Gotta go. You Work to do. Control to demolition. We're going to the whole sector. 
the ancients. Yeah, now yeah. we're seeing some panic on these yeah, guys. Yeah, so they're trying to make a global sacrifice mm -hmm. or something like or that. Or somebody has to to keep them appeased. Hadley, what is going on? Why hasn't the tunnel blown? You have a feeling it's about to? Oh, couldn't make it out. It doesn't work, though, if they're just crushed in there. Right. Though, they they, they got to have the monsters, I would think, take them out. They got to know something's going on. Like, what are the odds of that happening? No, yeah. oh, no, no, no fucking way. It's right there. All right, we got any uh, climbing gear, ropes? There's no way across. What are we going to do, jump? Dude. What? You jump the dirt bike? <laughs> There's some evil Knievel stuff here. I've done bigger jumps than this. You got a smooth run. But you got to give it everything. Look, you guys, you stay in the Rambler. I'll get help. I'm coming back with cops and choppers for jewels. We saw the bird fly into it before. And it's yeah. Really great. Don't hold back. Oh, yeah. He's going to hit that. Never do. Way. Yeah, he's going to hit so is this this uh, gonna be the end for Hemsworth? Or is the thing gonna grab him so he can't even do it yet? Yep. Oh. oh. He hit something. There's nothing. What did he hit? Marty was right. Get in the van. They Marty was his, right. They didn't get his blood flowing down there though. That's mm. true. Well, maybe they I guess did. so. I guess because if the whole thing is rigged, it must funnel in somehow or, or something. They just gotta, maybe it's not about the blood. Maybe it's just about making human sacrifices. Yeah. We'll just drive. And there's got to be another road, another way out of here. That won't work. Then we just leave the roads all together. Do Dude, not go there. nuts on me, okay, Dana? You're all I've got now. She's, no, she's not going nuts. Okay, no matter what happens... They probably have this RV stick. rigged. They have. Oh, oh, what the hell? He was in the RV the whole time? Because they did show that little bit of blood that on the blood door, in, but I thought that was door. from Hemsworth. Yeah, I, th you know, when the way they shot the the hand. It could have been when they were off though, out of the RV though too. He could have been in the whole yeah, time. Yeah, you know, looking back, the handprint on the door, the way they shot it, it threw me off for a second. <laughs> yeah, but I thought maybe Hemsworth got. That's it what I thought. It. But it seemed too low. So I'm gonna grab her. God damn, that was close. Yeah, photo can finish. You celebrating? They're celebrating. I'm drinking. How can the ritual be complete? The virgin's death is optional as long as it's last. Main thing is that she, you know, suffers. My lady, come on in, guys. Come on in. Come on in. You're welcome. Oh no, not back to the. Back to the dock. Hopefully, it's not the dock in that cabin. At the, well, that's the only one we saw. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be it. The way the whole world is kind of walled in in this. But it wasn't walled in until they go, oh, on that side, it's all walled yeah. in. Mm -hmm. yeah, never mind. The only way in and out was the tunnel. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you are Ario Speedwagon? Really? Ario Speedwagon? Roll with the changes? Oh. This is the weirdest sh I think I've ever seen. Funny that you like the ballet because I... Oh, it's just so uh, going on in the background. Yeah. There was a glitch. Power reroute from upstairs. What do you mean upstairs? Uh-oh. That looks uh -oh. important. They look like that red phone is... Never wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Turn the f***ing music off. Wait, wasn't wasn't she hooking up with her professor? So what if she what she oh, wasn't? Oh, what if she person? wasn't? She, well, she and she didn't. She, yeah, she didn't. That's impossible. Everything was done. Yeah, yeah, and on the couch, oh, she the won. only one. No, I I am not doubting you. Which one? Yeah, because on the couch she said, "Well, not first time for that or whatever." Yeah, and they made it clear that she'd hooked up with the professor yeah. in the beginning. But now I don't think that's what they're talking about. Yeah, it's got to be something else. This dude's been working her over for a while now, huh? <laughs> Marty was oh, Marty made it. Yeah, how, was, 
How's he still? Well, they showed that that camera shot of all that blood hitting the dock, though. They're going back to the. Well, there's nowhere else to go, I suppose. Marty, wait. We're going in the grave. Tatum, come on. Oh. oh, he found all their stuff. Yeah, I had to dismember that guy with the trowel. <laughs> Nobody else. Yeah, I figured I do know some stuff. It's an elevator. Yeah, there's no controls inside. I think I can get it to go down. Where else are we going to go? <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna go down to where the uh, yeah, the, yeah like the labs and everything? Yeah, that or whatever they're sacrificing the blood and stuff to. The merman? Are they gonna see all the other options that yeah. they had with the conch and whatnot? <laughs> yep, there's uh, all of them here. In <laughs> oh, werewolves, right? Is that a werewolf? Yeah. Yep. Oh, holy oh. Shit. It's a werewolf. So this thing comes down to all these oh, what's levels. what's behind them? Yep. We got oh, ghosts. ghosts. Bring something up. And then lets it out at yeah. the cabin. <laughs> oh, the... They had to let the music box keep going. Mm, yeah. Oh, what is she seeing? seeing something on each side. Oh... oh. That's what Hemsworth was playing yeah. with. We chose. What? In the cellar. Ooh. They made us choose how we die. Does that look like our guy that... He was in RoboCop 2014, played in... Oh, look at that. We're seeing everything. Look at that. I, I don't care if it's not protocol. Why are you f***ing high? Do not touch the girl. If he outlives her, this whole thing goes to hell. Whatever he's been smoking has been immunizing him to all our sh How does that help us right uh, now? Oh. <laughs> wow. What a twist. Bring him down. Oh, I like how they did that fade through the camera. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Step out of the elevator! Oh, they're trying to kill us! Step out! <laughs> oh, Ooh. bounced his head off that. Who works up the arm? <laughs> arm. They throw in like just enough levity. Yeah, you know? comedy. Oh, zombie arm gonna mess that dude up. Oh yeah. They sent one guy. Like yeah. and it was this huge ordeal it's where if it went ordeal. that if it goes wrong. You shouldn't be here. What's happening to you is part of something bigger. Is that Sigourney? You've seen see horrible things. Out. Yeah, it's her. An army of nightmare creatures. Look at the SWAT team coming. Oh, Jesus. It's our task to placate the ancient ones. Forgive us and let us get it over with. Yeah, that's 100% Sigourney Weaver. Oh, that's all bulletproof. Remember, they yeah, said he's got to go first. He's gotta go first, though. Oh. System purge. Oh, you no. Are they going to let them all out? Why would you even have a button like that? <laughs> I mean, it bears, huh? Yeah, this seems like a great idea, guys. Let's get it going. Oh, you guys are so screwed. Oh, now. my God. So is everyone. Yeah. Oh, boy. Classic. Oh, ho! Okay, is so we a got tree? a hawk. We got a tree. Oh, a we got a giant cobra. cobra. We, got bats, we got bats. We got a ghost. We got a elevator of blood saw. We got a, a demon throwing <laughs> people. <laughs> oh, oh, oh it's they just, just not everything. It's out. not just downstairs. No, oh. I repeat, code black. <laughs> Are you guys down? Sector three down. Jesus. Something went something scared. Oh, clowns. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, That's putting... something large. Yeah. How the hell are you getting out of this? This clown. 
<laughs> a unicorn. A unicorn. Oh! No! I didn't know they were like that. They're not mean. But unicorns are nice. Is that the one-armed girl? Yeah, it is. She make it back down or yeah. what? We're running out of time. Come on, I'm trying to fight back. <laughs> oh! Oh, did all those things have like some sort of internal? No, no he, 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 he pulled, pulled a grenade. Oh. He did a Jaws three. <laughs> The mermaid, or merman. Oh, come on. Oh. This giant octopus. Oh. Oh. No, 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 please. Please. Kill him. Who's him, though? Marty. Him. Oh. Dana. I think they're gonna see the the ancients. Well, the person on the other end of that red phone see all this go down or what? Oh, they're still going downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there's yep, all different each ones that have. That's the symbol. that's gonna be the symbol he had on his necklace. Look at these. What are they? Us. This is part of a ritual. Punish for what? For being young. Hey! Yes, yeah, there she is. It has always required youth. There must be at least five. The four, she's corrupted. She dies first. The athlete, the scholar, the fool, to live or die as fate decides. The virgin. What's beneath us? The ancient ones. As long as they accept our sacrifice, they remain below. Maybe it's time for a change. We're not talking about change. We're talking about the agonizing death of every human soul. Or you can die for them. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. The whole world, Marty, is in your hands, Dana. Ah. Oh. Oh, remember, if she oh. passes before him, then it's yep. over. Marty. Oh! Well, there goes those two. Does the young one's sacrifice count? No, that's a monster. That won't count. I don't think Kurt even has a cousin. Huh? How are you? Oh, anyway, I'm so sorry I almost shot you. I totally get it. I'm sorry I let you get attacked by a werewolf. It's time to give someone else a chance. Giant evil gods. Whoa. Oh, uh, big hand is out. That was, that was something else. <laughs> I don't uh, know what to uh, say. All right. <laughs> there you go. That was Cabin in the Woods as recommended or a poll winner rather by many of you out there on Patreon and YouTube members. Wow, that I like I said, I don't think I've had a confused and dumb look on my face throughout an entire movie the whole time trying to figure out what was going on all the way up until the last, I don't know, five minutes or so. But this movie had a lot of our favorites in it. Of course, it had Chris Hemsworth. It had our, our guy from Revenge of the Nerds, uh, Bradley Whitford, who always seems to show up. But what a unique and just out there movie i mean one that has you guessing the whole way through all the way into the end of is it really gonna happen is this how it's really gonna play out i mean it was gosh it was easily like an hour in and we still had no idea what was going on with everybody working in the the large building controlling everything just totally bizarre and a very unique and interesting story it was fun seeing sigourney weaver in there we're all big fans of hers of course once you heard the voice i know answer you mm. pretty much got it right oh, away. Yeah. and then yeah after a couple of times like yep that's 100 percent sigourney weaver so again just an incredibly unique i guess you know horror slash comedy movie i suppose and uh you know josh whedon's done some stuff 
with you know the comic books to to movies and um i think he's done a few other things maybe some tv series i'm sure you folks can uh, help me out but uh yeah this seemed to be right up his alley of what he's known for and i don't know if this is one of the first things he did or not but <laughs> it was definitely out there and had all three of us guessing right to the end so definitely unique i'm not sure it's one of those where after watching it i'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> you know, I like if you asked me to give you a rating right now at this second, I don't know what I would give it. So uh -huh. I'm going to have to hear from these guys yeah. uh, to help put some things together here. Uh, just a, quite an interesting plot that it, it, it's a whole new take and spin on like the sacrifice. Like he even jokingly says, well, you get your robes and you yeah. get this <laughs> and you just do that. Stone. She's like, no, that's not how they do it. They want you to pick your own. But yet somehow in every other country, they're able to beat it, whether it was the Japanese girls singing to it yeah, turn and turning it into a nice little frog so like it was just interesting that and i was wondering what they all had their things and like it's just funny now we if you go back and watch it like okay i see why they're they're in the control room i see why they're talking yeah. about japan is undefeated and all this other stuff because they've been doing it for years and yeah. years and years and so they've had to do the sacrifice and here i was expecting i don't know some sort of happy ending that something happened <laughs> no nope, we see a big giant freaking <laughs> hand come out well i guess there's not going to be a sequel that's for sure to the world but it was yeah, like it's such an interesting twist. Um, they, uh, yeah, and to see you know, <laughs> to see to see Richard Jenkins, Bradley Whitford, and then Scorny Weaver in here. Wow, that's quite the yeah. amazing little cast that they had there. And then uh, I saw you know Brian J. White and uh, obviously Chris Hemsworth, and then Jesse Williams that has bits parts and every stuff. And this was you know I. I and then of course he had to get the his end deletion by the merman at the end. Yep. So, I mean, this was quite the interesting take on a sacrifice, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say right now either. Yeah, as definitely. Well as, out I don't know what to say as well as far as score, but I can see why it's highly recommended because you guys are probably like, whoa. We want to see you guys be low and see yeah. how you thought after the first time watching because I'm sure some of you've seen it multiple times, and so you have. Multiple yeah, ideas. Yeah, I can see so. why it's big for reactions yeah. because oh. you don't know oh, yeah. what's going on until like oh, the yeah. end. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't, you know, where to start with this film? It was, you know, I, I think if I have to describe it in one word, it's unique. It was mm -hmm. very unique because it started off feeling like, okay, it's gonna be some typical slasher film, mm -hmm. yep. you know, run Friday off into the, the woods, 13th, yeah. they're off into the woods. And okay, they run into the creepy guy who gives you, um, <laughs> you know, when Texas Chain, you know, the reboots of Texas Chainsaw Massacre when they run into the creepy sheriff, right? You know, and the sheriff, oh, don't go that way. Oh, mm. we're, we'll be fine, you know. And then, like up until then, I'm like, okay, this is creepy. And then the bird hit the fence, and I'm like, wait a minute, yeah, that was quite uh, Hunger yep. Games. Yeah, it's the and second then, Hunger like, Games. Instantly, Hunger Games. And what what years did the Hunger Games come out? Oh, uh, well, even, yeah. Even the, well, either way, even the way they did the fence, yeah, it that had that felt like, like octagon type uh, design. The the yeah, it felt like the the dome in, yeah. in Hunger Games. And then like the control panel, so I was getting a lot of like Hunger Games vibes mm -hmm. with the control panel, the gas, you know, and those two were like manipulating it. Those two were like the uh, the games makers. So. I have to imagine, you know, I don't know if we if we go through here anywhere, if we, you know, obviously the Hunger Games books came out before the movies, um, so I'm wondering if this took some inspiration from the Hunger Games. Um, obviously, I'm very <laughs> oh, like, that would be a stretch, but yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. like just well, <laughs> like you take hear, the hear idea of the Hunger Games, like okay, they have their very different things, but just the idea of you have this controlled mm, environment, right. you have a. Uh, a predetermined outcome that you need to happen with everybody have losing their lives and you're controlling all these environmental things to make mm -hmm. sure goes uh, right. an, an outcome happens yep. and you know if, if it, when the person does something that's unexpected oh we've got a fix for that yep. oh, they should have never gotten away but we're gonna block the tunnel okay the illusion of choice mm -hmm. we're gonna do yeah. this so to, to me it it had like a hunger games vibe to it it had just enough levity enough comedy in it to keep you kind of giggling and like yeah. almost a little bit of like 
lightheartedness. I mean, was it Marty? Um, he was uh, he was a, a great character. You know, he found out early. You know, with the camera and stuff like that. You know, he yeah. thought something was up. Very shaggy. He kept warning Very him. Very close to like Maze Runner. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did Maze feel Runner. like Shaggy and Scooby yeah. Doo. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like he was, let's get out of the basement. Like and look, if you've if you found a, a you know a cellar or an attic like that, you'd go through and look at all the old stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you would. You didn't know that um, it would determine your deletion, though. No, no, yeah, you true. wouldn't think you wouldn't think that would happen. Um, but it was. Again, it was just so unique. And then you find out, like, okay, they're being controlled, but what's, like, the end game here? And, like, okay, the, there's these ancient gods that need sacrifices, and they've been doing it for that many years. So I think it was just it was a really unique plot. The movie was very entertaining. It was gory, but it didn't have to go, like, super, super over the top. Like, they didn't, yeah. they didn't show, like, a lot comparatively yeah. to like some of the other like gore movies. Yeah, like, there was like toss the bucket of blood against. Yeah, them, like know, when the know. first girl got taken out, you didn't see a whole lot. Yeah, it was very uh, dark. Very Hemsworth dark. Hemsworth hit the wall and fell. The other guy obviously took the, uh, you know, the, the pole through the through the neck. But overall, I mean, at the end it got pretty bad with just the volume. Right. You know, but still, yeah. visually, it wasn't like it wasn't super crazy. Um, you know, if I <laughs> if I have to criticize the plot um which uh, this is getting nitpicky i know people are going to tear me apart like just just watch the movie and enjoy it oak but um if there's one part that i, I guess would be I know harder to be harder to believe right like and, and look i get it like the whole thing so <laughs> the you believe thing. everything else right. but this was hard to believe the idea of one funding a structure like that um that sort of building um and and Two, getting that many people to work for that building, believing that there was some sort of, you know, and look, there's been aliens, lot, Dave. There's been aliens. lots of cults and there's been lots of stuff where you get a lot of people involved. So I'm not saying it couldn't happen. But when you get down to those lower levels, we're like, this feels like some some CIA, NSA, like billion dollar funding. Well, that's, they charge $400 for a toilet yeah. seat. But, uh, uh, us yeah. independence day. $30 for a pen, $400 yeah. for a toilet seat. Yeah. But um, I, I, such an unexpected movie. I honestly thought it was going to be Cabin in the Woods. It was going to be a typical like slash yeah, sure. with um see i thought that too but i'm like that doesn't make sense that it would be a poll winner it would be so highly recommended that wouldn't there's got to be that's coming in i'm like yeah. there's yeah. got to be something people, people more wanted. to it that all of you wanted us to watch it oh, was yeah. i mean it yeah. was it was look this was a this was a pretty clever clever movie. Mm -hmm. yeah it, it it like i said you it kind of you know you you went into it like thinking, okay, here's another normal movie because that's what it felt like from the beginning. And mm -hmm. then like, okay, the creepy guy, but boom, the second, yeah. second that bird well, hit they, that wall, the whole movie. Well, yeah. that, and they showed the guy on top of the roof in the very beginning with the earpiece in on top of the, uh, like, okay, they're on, out. on top okay, of the building. Out. And we didn't, I don't want to say I we glossed thought, over it, but you thought it was well, the we, professor. Well, we all were like, well, that's odd. And you said it looked, one of you I, said it looked I like the professor. It like the professor she was So the professor the could have been a, could have easily been a plant a too. Plant. Right. Yeah. But I thought, um, I thought it was the professor and I thought like she left and he was like stalking her with a friend. Okay. We're going to go in and go through her stuff. See and, what's what. But, but of uh, course, looking back, it was it was their people. Well, but, he broke up with her. Yeah. <laughs> Goofy. Well, yeah, just a wildly creative. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. is, it, is it based off of a, a book yeah, or I anything? Mean, uh, I mean, yeah. does it say that um, in the beginning? Yeah, it um, seems totally original what I'm seeing. No, uh, actually, there is a down here. There was a lawsuit. Oh, because uh, California Fair, uh, Little White Trip, A Night in the Pines. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, they don't want so, to see us read. Well, the there's, oh, it just, but just, yeah. it's just that there was somebody Original. who made claim. There was people who yeah. made claims to the source material it yep. sounded like, which I think is an important thing to at least discuss if we are going to kind of dive into where did the story come from? Because look, so much of the music um, by Hans Zimmer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so much of the movies that we watch are either. You know, uh, adaptations of books or mm -hmm. live action of uh, an anime series yep. and stuff like that. So, you know, it's I think it's fair to question the source material. Yeah. But this looks like it was just a, a, a movie written up for our entertainment. I'm surprised. Like, 
I suppose Hemsworth's star power wasn't that big at the time, and other than Sigourney yeah. Weaver. Yeah, 2011. You know, it had a couple of, you know, you know, obviously, you know, big name actors in it, but it only did like 60. Yeah, you know. and Sigourney Weaver wasn't in the credits at all, so she was in there as a surprise, yeah. which I always like when they do that. You know, it's like if you're going to have a, you know, a big actor make a surprise and make a splash in the movie. You By all means, don't give it away in the trailer. You can't, you can't do yep. it. You know, yeah. you can't. Uh, you can't do that. But yeah, yeah this was all right. Well, the fun one. Where are we gonna? Where, where are we gonna start be at? With scores. The, uh, the scores. Scores. Uh, uh, I guess I, I can start it off. Uh, this one was a lot of fun, and I think it's one of those movies where I would have even more fun, like all of you, watching it with someone who hadn't mm. seen it before. So I could just kind of sit over here and be like, I "Wonder how long until the he figures it out." Them. You know, this is this. So this I, does seem like like a fun one to watch other people watch yeah. to see how what they piece together. Yep. So for me, this is a, uh, I'm going to give this a 3.7 out of five answers. A lot of fun. I think I'm pretty much in line with a lot of you out there, what you thought. Hey, it was a great movie, a lot of fun, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's not uh, an upper echelon of movies. However, as I always say, when you come into these movies, you take them for what they are and the type of movie that it was. Very unique. So yeah, 3.7, maybe even a 3.7 seven five out of five answers for me a lot of fun so which one is it a yeah. 3.7 or a 3.7 we'll go we'll five. go a 3.75 he's, he's gonna right, do like the dave go. Meltzer. well it's as good as a four it's as good as a four, <laughs> four. But, but which is exactly what i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a four because this was a lot of fun it kept you on your toes it was a lovely twist on your you know not i wouldn't say standard but you know the you know the, the whole sacrificial mm -hmm. what you have to do to keep the gods Appeased. Where they belong, you know, <laughs> where they belong. So I get four. Uh, look, I thought this was uh, like, I, like I said, I, I, there was a few little things I could nitpick, mm -hmm. like, like the one security guard you know, going. Security like everything's guard. on the line. But he was like the guy that had to go down there. But then they sent this uh, right. The whole so they had. Yeah. Look, I, I think this was like wildly creative you know it was just like you had to have some ancient sacrifices but high-tech hunger games mixed with friday the 13th i'm gonna do a 4.25 for this one i am right look uh, look am i slightly biased for chris hemsworth I mean, of course, I am. But and he didn't. You, you barely know, even saw him shirtless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he, he was fighting you know, that Australian can, accent. Oh yeah, yeah, it was. It was starting to slip he, through a few know, times. Answer brings up a good I might point. as well get to my mighty Minor. I we mean, got, uh, hey, you want to play some football? <laughs> we uh, we did get you know the the doc lake scene. Um, but uh, yeah, four point two five for me. There's a great recommendation. Just a, a wildly creative mm -hmm. uh, horror slash sci-fi slash suspense, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't even know what genre this fits into. I think horror is the best of its own. Yeah. But uh, definitely a good one, guys. All right. Well, once again, thank you, Patreon and YouTube members, for uh, for. For giving us this one. Oh my God. The poll winner, rather. So much fun. Yeah, poll winner. Yeah. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>